Hi guys, very good evening. This is Sundar Ravindranathan here. Hey guys, how is everybody? What's up? What's going on? I see some internal chats are happening. Hello Anshika, welcome. So you guys are still discussing on what happened during the quiz. Is it so? Okay, okay. Let me see how many of you guys are there. Right guys, forget the quiz guys, the, the quiz has happened and it is over. Now it's a brand new session. So welcome to this session where we are going to deal with the NCRT solutions, specifically on the chapter equality, right? So be ready. I'm going to start now. As usual, we'll just give a minute for our friends to join. Yep. Okay. Right guys. Yes, Arushi, of course, Menti is always there. Yes, Arushi, of course, Menti is always there. Shristi. You can't see one. Oh. Is that okay now? Yeah, hi guys. Hi, hi, hi everyone. Hello, Adyusha. So guys, it's, a, it's going to be a crisp session as usual. When it comes to NCRD solutions, what do I do? First, I'm going to tell the question, make you guys try and answer it, and then I'll give you the complete answer. Done? Okay. So, Periyamuttu, you want to shout out. Jepraka, it's okay. Uh, Nandini, just focus. It's okay. Hello, Lochana. Lochana, Neela Megam. Hi, Meenakshi. Many, many more happy returns of the day. May God bless you. All right. I think it's time to move on. Guys, young wonders. Vedantu, young wonders. And you guys are those young wonders. So what do we do? We conduct, at Vedantu Young Wonders, we conduct live sessions on, ev on a daily basis, every day. And every live session will be followed, you know, starting with a class and ending with a quiz. A very interesting interactive quiz. So after this session, after another 20 minutes or so, we'll have a quiz. Be ready, okay? And what are the subjects we cover? Mathematics, Science, English, Social. Yes? And not just that, guys, you will have lovely numerous spell bee contests, loads of general knowledge quizzes, a lot of stuff. Okay, great place to be. Please ensure you subscribe to the channel right away and don't forget. Okay, all right, I think it's time. Let us move on. Guys, I wanted to speak about one very interesting proposition. Vedanta's pro subscription is coming for a very, 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 you know, uh, a large discount. What is Vedantu Pro subscription? All, you know, it, that is the best, the max subscription of Vedantu. Unlimited live sessions, unlimited doubt solving, tests, assignments, guaranteed score improvement. Everything is a part of that. And guys, what is the price? Almost 40-45% discount. Right? 4,000 rupee course is coming to you at 2699. Use this code SWR. Pro, P R O, S W R P R O. So, where should I use this code? Go to look at that link bdnt.in slash yt pro. Go to this link and there you can click on enroll. I'll show you the screenshots. Once you click on the link, you will be able to choose the grades that you want to choose the grade, whatever you want you are studying in. Okay, click on get subscription. And see what all is available. Unlimited live classes, 
unlimited doubt solving, guaranteed score. You can choose your own schedule as well. A lot of things, click on it because that's an amazing discount for a pro course. Okay? So, one, the subscriptions are also there. One month, three month, six month subscription. Take them up, guys. Don't miss them. Okay? Right? So, you have live class by India's best master teachers. Personalized attention. All recordings will be given to you for permanent reference with notes, assignments, tests as well. Wow, that isn't that amazing, guys? So, I hope you made a note of the link vdnt.in slash ytpro and the discount code SWR Pro. Yeah, superb. Now, guys, moving on to our session. So, I'm going to ask the questions. I want you guys to answer, then I'll tell you the right answer. Don't worry. So, in, an, in a democracy, India is a democratic country. In a democracy, why is universal adult franchisee? Whoa, oops, oops, oops. What is this universal adult franchisee? I do not know if you remember the session. Okay? An individual. An adult is nothing but an individual person. Why is he very, very important? Do you have any idea as to what is the right answer? Why is universal adult franchisee important? Shambhavi, you want me to change the time of the quiz? We will discuss, don't worry. Yes, Perimuthu is saying, sir, we need to know the people's decision. It's very important that only when you look at an individual, you know, that person as an individual, you have to allot specific individual rights, right? Look here. Since there are multiple points, I'm not asking the answer from you. Democracy is a people's government. We are ruling the country. So that means every individual, irrespective of caste, creed, religion, sex, whether they are rich or poor, everyone is allowed to vote. This system is called universal adult franchisee. The right to vote irrespective of caste, creed, <coughs> religion, uh, rich, poor, anything, background, etc. That's called universal adult franchisee. Now, every citizen is equal here. Got it? So, now if, you, if someone asks, sir, why is universal adult franchisee important? You should say, everyone should have equal right to vote. That's why it's so important. Got it? So, in democracy, every citizen is equal. Got it? Guys, Article 15. How does Article 15 address inequality? What does it do? We have Article 15 of the Constitution, right? So, it takes care of inequality. It addresses it. How does it address? List two ways. There are two ways in which Article 15... Guys, do you remember? Let me see if you guys remember. Hi, Sana. Come on. Okay, Arushi is saying fundamental right and it guides right to equality. Okay. Equal right to vote. Raghupati is saying that. All right. Untouchability is not there. Public place is open for all. Who is that? Well done, Anushka. Well done. Guys, there are two things. Public places are open for all. It's a very, very important thing. Right? So, all shops, public places open for all. Similarly, Public so resources, wells, tanks, bathing guards, everything is allowed for all public, everyone. There is no inequality there. Clear? So, general public are allowed to use the wells, tanks, uh, you know, uh, bathing guards, everything. So, it is maintained by the state overall, but as access is for the entire public. So, now you know how there are two ways in which Article 15 addresses inequality, right? So, if you give this properly, if you follow this, inequality will not be there, at least in these two cases. Would you agree? If this system is properly followed, inequality will come down. At least everyone can go to, even in India today, all our Indian citizens can go to any shop, any public place, any restaurant, correct? Similarly, all our public, 
All right. Here, at least in most of the places, are allowed to use wells, tanks, bathing guards, etc. Guys, do you agree? So, come on, give me a yo if you agree. Murti, it will be, it will come. Tomorrow, you check it out. Yeah. Now, okay, there were two case studies we dealt with in this session. Two stories. One was that of Om Prakash Valmiki, the other was that of Ansaris. Remember Om Prakash Valmiki, the student who was treated unequ you know, unequally in the classroom? Untouchable. Yeah? Do you remember the Ansaris who went in search of a house for rent? Two cases. Now, in what way both are similar? Can you answer? In what way that, Om, the, you know, the small student Om Prakash Valmiki, his experience was similar to that of Ansaris who went in search of a house. Perfect. Tempest, you killed it. Untouchability and domination of the majority. There are only simple things, guys. One person was, uh, you know, treated unequally based on caste. Lower caste, untouchable. Ansaris were treated unequally based on religion. Experience was similar? So, number one, Om Prakash Valmiki was not allowed to visit or sit with other students. Number one. Number two, Ansaris were not given the apartments because of the religion. Number two, in case of Om Prakash Valmiki, discrimination was based on caste. And in case of Ansaris, it was based on religion. Got it, guys? All of you? Superb. Hey, guys, I hope all the three points are very clear for all of you. Come on, give me a yo again. Lovely. You guys are awesome. See this. What do you understand by the term all persons are equal before law? Why and why is this, you know, important in a democracy? Guys, can you type the answer? I would want to see. Uh, I want to see, look at your perspective and understanding what happened. When we say everyone is equal below before law, what do you understand? Yashika, I do not know how to handle that. The reason is, if it is blur, we can't help it. Kindly adjust, okay? My request. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, guys. People play a direct role in democracy as they elect. Okay. But the question was different, right? <clears throat> All people are equal before law. What do we mean by that? <clears throat> that means if there is any, when it comes to justice, justice will not look at whether he is rich or poor, he is lower caste, upper caste, anything. Everyone will be treated equally and given the same justice. Got it? Number two, why is it important in democracy? When people elect people, lot of imbalance might happen. Unless law is very strong and it can take its course. You got it? Look here. When we say all are equal before law, we understand the concept of equality. Number one, of course, equality is important in democracy because it is people who are running it. There are a lot of chances for imbalance. Okay. And so th that means if whenever people are discriminated, law will take its course and set right everything. Got it? So if people are discriminated on the basis of caste, creed, religion, sex or prosperity, democracy can never flourish. That's why beautifully our Indian constitution is structured. With one side separately, uh, judiciary will be there. Right. The other side, the legislative council will also be there. So beautifully structured. When one person is not handling it properly, judiciary will come into effect. Is it not? Right. Guys, look at that photograph. What do you feel? Do you think when you look at the photograph, what do you feel? You tell me.
do you think the above law is being you know right to equality is being implemented in this case yes or no you tell me let's debate no you have to carefully look at the photograph and answer shrishti what do you mean by dignity i am very eager to know that nandi jam subraidu we will go to menti after this don't worry my promise okay smita come on smita anush when i am teaching don't play like this yaar you want me to show my daughter now okay guys listen you you when you look at this photograph you will feel like oh the boy is being helped awesome but look at what will the boy think do you think his dignity will get affected guys tell me this do you feel his dignity will get affected it will definitely get affected because he will feel my god i am always dependent on others i can't do anything on my own is it s or no agree yes he should never be carried at all tane you are saying sir he should be carried through elevator he should be able to use it on his own right that's equality he should be dependent that's equality you getting it so that is the question do you think the equality is implemented here what should be done to make this building more accessible all right will this affect his dignity answer no equality is not implemented because he needs to either have a lift or ramps okay to make the building very more you know a lot more accessible for students so that he can go on his own ramp should be there he cannot be carried like that right he will start feeling dependent got it so guys these are certain important ncrt perspectives on the chapter equality so someone said sir you are ignoring who is that buffering right guys so look here he is wearing he is being carried down this may affect his you know dignity because he will feel that he is dependent and he will feel humiliated embarrassed it also affects his safety because he might fall down so where is equality here got it so my dear kids i think i have given you a gist of all about equality now jumping on to menti everyone ready before that you tell me are you very clear about these six questions what we dealt exactly sushti you got it bang on excellent guys moving on guys moving on to menti here we go so you see menti on your screen now so now guys is it buffering hey guys is it better or is it still buffering buffer ho raha hai better okay thank you i got a bit scared perfect guys we are on to menti for people who are new guys uh, keep the youtube session you know in separate tab open a new tab and type www.menti.com menti spelled as m e n n s in nancy m e n t i dot com and then once you type it it's going to ask you for a code and type the code 
seven five seven nine. I repeat three one seven five seven nine. Oh, sorry, sorry, Rushi. I just looked at the registered name, right? So I'm getting a bit kind of uh, confused. Shristi, I'm doing that only. Come on. Everyone ready? Come on, come on, come on. Be ready. So, starting the quiz now. Do not close YouTube. Please ensure YouTube is kept alive and not closed. Malla Santiraj, just now I'm looking at you. If you have been here for quite some time, I'm sorry. I missed you. Fantastic Dynamites, only seven questions, nothing more than that. Again buffering. What the hell, yes? Yeah? Guys, is it okay now? Shall I start? All right, starting the quiz. First question on your screens. Okay, here we go. First question on your screens now. Which among the following is the fundamental law of the land? Which is the fundamental rights, fundamental duties, constitution, preamble? Think, think, think. Which among the following four is a fundamental law of the land? Time is running. Constitution is a fundamental law. It, it rules the, our land, which is India, right? Come on, guys. 72 of you got this right. Oh, oh, first question. Went for a toss. Ranveer, Ares, Jarshan, Ayush, and Messi. Top five. Asutosh, Haifa, Avika, Asmita, and Vedant. Next five. Question number two on your screens now. Rosa Parks, guys, remember Rosa Parks? She refused to give up her seat on a dash to a white man. Is it bus, train, bicycle? None of this. Uh, so guys, please pardon me for the spelling. It is train, not terrain. Last five seconds. Wow, 224 of you, you remember that? Bus, it's so bad, right? So now, Harish. No, not Harish now. I think Darshan is at the top now. Darshan, Ayush, Harish, Messi, Haifa. Top five. Asmita, Hani, Sammy, Riddhi, and Dash. Next five. Super. Question number three. Who are the ancestors of African Americans? Laborers from Africa, slaves from Africa, peasants from Africa, merchants from Africa. Guys, remember, just try and remember the session. 
not today, previous session, who were the ancestors of African Americans. Time is running. So by any chance, is it the peasants or slaves? Yeah, slaves from Africa. Well done. 149 of you got this right, others got it wrong. So is it going to change our leaderboard? Looks like no. Messi is at the top now. Wow. Harish, Asmita, Hani, Riddhi. Top 5. Darsh, Sami, Irabati, Dinesh and Shrestha. Next 5. Question number 4. Kids. Rakesh, you want Minecraft? See, uh, okay, let me complete. Which among the following program provided children with cooked lunch? Sukanya Samridhi Yojana, Balika Samridhi Yojana, Mukhya Mandri Rajshri Yojana, Midday Meal Scheme. Which of the following program provided children with cooked lunch? It was a midday meal scheme, guys. Wow, most of you got it right. First, it was announced in Tamil Nadu. And then, remember, the Supreme Court ordered all states to follow that. So, looks like Asmita might take over. Yes, Asmita... Messi, Darsh, Hani, and Sammy. Top 5. Wow. It's getting very interesting now. Uh, Satyam, Sai, Irabati, Priyanshi, and Adi. Next 5. Om Prakash Valmiki is a famous dash writer. Brahmin, Dalit, Sanskrit, none of this. Time is running. Last three seconds. Time is up. How many of you say that? Ooh, wow. Okay, not bad, guys. I thought you will get confused with his name. Dalit. He, he wrote a you know beautiful book, right? 194 of you got this right. Is it changing the leaderboard now? In any way? Asmita is still at the top, followed by Messi, Hani, Darsh, Sami, Irabati, Satyam, subscribe to Adi and Parshwa, Priyanshi and Shrestha. Guys, the leaderboard is very intact, not much of difference in the top five. Come on guys, give it a good fight. Question number six. What was Mr. and Mrs. Ansari looking for? Mr. and Mrs. Ansari, what were they looking for? Land property, jewelry, rented apartments or private business? This is a very, very simple question. Shristi, not to a great extent, but I like Rented apartments, yes. Guys, don't confuse rented apartment with land, right? They're not try going to buy a land. They just wanted a house for rent. 156 of you got this right. So, is it impacting the leaderboard in any way? Looks like Asmita is well placed. Asmita, Darsh, Messi, Sammy, Honey. Top 5. Hirabati, Satyam, subscribe to Adi, Priyanshi and Shrestha. Next 5. Guys, probably the last question for today. 
let's see this is the desider which act asks the government to provide free education and integrate children with disabilities into mainstream schools they can't be put in separate schools there is one act right to life right to education disabilities act both one and two hi kada time up <clears throat> guys we clearly saying act why are you choosing right to confuse you only we chose these kind of options which act right that act is disabilities act so it uh, clearly indicates children with disability should be put along with others in the same school mainstream schools right you should not admit them in the school for the disabled alone you got it superb now who is going to win today's quiz let us see lot of changes my god last minute wolfmeister last question you killed it wow wolfmeister 6632 points Adi Parshwa, number two. Doctor Sandepet. Ah, uh, Ritu. Guys, I couldn't see the name. Sammy, Messi, Metal. Everyone in the leaderboard, guys. Many, many congratulations to all of you. Special congratulations to Wolf Meister. He is the winner for today's quiz. Hey, guys. I hope now you are very clear about what is the uh, concept of equality and how our constitution. our fundamental rights and the you know the law protects that equality for everyone right so if you like the video and the quiz hit the like button and yes newcomers do not forget to subscribe to the channel and motivate us tomorrow we have another uh, couple of very interesting sessions in the evening one is on social science again the other will be in grammar Meet you at six thirty tomorrow. Until then, it's me, Sundar Ravindranath, and signing off, guys. Bye, bye. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay at home. Listen to your parents. Pooja.